Ryan. 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 All right, guys, we are live. Ryan Lochte is our special guest with some friends of his. So we uh, we appreciate it. Doug, Brian, Ryan Lochte here. Awesome. Sonny's here. Nate's here. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for doing this. Yes, of course. Thanks for having us. Now, Ryan, you are the you are the special special guest. So, where are you coming from? Oh, uh, I'm actually just I just got out of workout. I mean, oh, you know, after um, after the Olympic trials, I kind of took a stop to working out. Um, mm -hmm. Um, and then I started looking at myself in the mirror. And I was like, man, I need to get back in shape. Oh, <laughs> um, so I just started working out and I just got back from a workout this morning. Um, not the swimming pool, just dry land stuff. So <laughs> nice. Nice. Are you, are you trying to go and compete at the trials in Tokyo or are you officially retired? I don't know. Um, I can't say yes. And I can't know. All I know is, you know, I'm putting, you know, right after the Olympic trials uh, in 2021, I kind of put swimming to a side and doing what I probably most passionate about. Um, and that's what, what is leading to what we're going to be talking about. Um, you know, you, you guys know me the best. Um, I'm a big kid. Mm -hmm. I'm a big kid at heart. And so that is why me and my team, um, we have Brian Wilson on here. He will talk more about it. Um, he's one of my partners in this. Um, we created a swim meet like no other. Mm. Um, an age group international championship. And this is a meet that it's going to blow everyone away. Like mm. it's going to be just mind blowing. And we wanted to create a swim meet that is for little kids. Mm. Um, anything that I'm doing now um outside the um anything i'm getting involved in mm -hmm. it has some correlation with kids mm. um and so that's why we created this international age group championship meet um i'm i'm so excited to be a part of this great event um and like i said it's all about the kids so it pit, fits perfectly with me with my team and everything and yeah. it's going to be age group swimmers mm -hmm. coming from all over the country. I wanted to have a swim meet that is the best of the best um, for little kids. So these little kids, um, only in international swimming, they have meter swim meets. Mm -hmm. um, U.S. is the only um, um, country that is yards. So we created um, a short course meter swim meet um, where it's going to be everyone. Everyone, and it's where wow. the U.S. can finally experience and gain international ranking. Mm. Um, it's going to be so much fun. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, interactive, high-tech features from all visitors, um, video game booths, uh, virtual reality sports rooms, mm. uh, official swim pro shops. Um, I'm coming out with um, – my uh, merchandise line um so it's everything is just going to be there it's going to be a swim meet, a high competition swim meet but it's going to have a little lofty flair i love it i love it well brian and doug you guys are here as well uh, brian tell us a little bit about the technical side obviously you're involved in this too um yeah so i was at uh, junior nationals and i was looking at um the kids swimming yards and i didn't think that uh there, there was a chance for international kids to compare themselves to American kids and came up with this idea of creating an international swim meet in meters for our kids to be able to com uh, compare themselves and compete with <clears throat> their international counterparts. Mm. And then it just evolved into, you know, providing a really, really different atmosphere for these kids, for them to just kind of experience the excitement of big light swimming, you know, at a, at a younger age and get yep. excited about it. I mean, we, we, we trained for four years for the Olympics and, you know, that's what we're, that's what we're looking for is just to be able to compete on that kind of stage and to provide that for the kids on a yearly basis, to give them something to shoot for, to give them something to practice for, to create friendships with uh, kids from around the world and um, meet up and compete on a 25 meter course. And finally to be able to compare themselves uh, apples to apples against their international counterparts was it just it just started blossoming from there and it's uh it's evolved into this really really cool event 
I love it. I love it. Well, Doug, I want you to say something here too. Is you, you know, you're one of the greatest age group coaches in history. You've you've been at this thing for many years, coaching, you know, some some of the best in America. So, in terms of this meet, what does it look like? When when's it happening? Um, what's your involvement with it as well? Well, basically, what we all talked about, and that's why Ryan is kind of like the voice of it is the fact that we're going to have a meet that's going to have U.S. and international swimmers. Mm. The Pan Am group that uh, used to be Iwana, they're, they're our partner in this thing. And we're go- we hope to have anywhere from 25 to 35 foreign countries competing in the meet with their age group kids too. And like the Olympics, uh, one of the things we're going to do is some of these countries that maybe aren't at the level of the U.S., we're going to allow them to bring three swimmers per age group that haven't met the qualifying times, but we're using U.S. quad A times as as a nut to get in so we go after the best kids. And I noticed just this, just this weekend at the Richmond meet, there was a 13-year-old boy who went 205, 200-meter butterfly. And those are the type of kids that we're trying to excite and get related to other swimmers like that in the world so we can make it happen. Um, I I think it's going to be an unbelievable event. We're using FINA age groups um, and we're going single age group. Nice. And so the meet's going to be at Georgia Tech December 13th to when? 13th or 16th. 17th. Okay. 16th, 17th. Yeah. Uh, My favorite pool, my favorite pool in the U.S., um, it was where the 96 Olympic Games, every time I swam there, I did something amazing there. So I love that pool, and that's where we wanted to host it. And basically, we wanted to bring more like a primetime sports product to swimming and mm. make it fun. Make it fun, just not for the kids, but for everyone. So we're going to have like a um, our production team uh, will set up um, um, like front – and video walls, uh, staging the event, live video streaming for the families and friends for back home um, in other countries. So everyone can be involved into this great swim meet. Uh, Because, you know, being a swimmer, like we all know uh, know it, it's it's very demanding. Yeah. And it kind of get like... And for me, the reason why I was able to swim for so long is because I was having fun doing it. And a lot of these kids, they get drilled being like, oh, I got to eat, sleep, swim, eat, sleep, swim. But then they die out when they get older. But like this meat is to bring them back being like, you know what? Swimming is fun. Like that is why we do this, because we enjoy it. We love having fun. And that's what life should be all about is having fun, enjoying this moment. So we wanted to make it a little lofty flare and have these kids have fun. But you know what? Get on those blocks and be like, who wants it? Let's get it. <laughs> I love the competitive so, side of it. I'm very excited. <laughs> yes, we're, we're all very excited. It's going to be it's never been done before. Is it prelims finals? Or is it- We've taken one of Ryan's, the world championship medal that he liked the best. We're going to take that model and we're going to award first, second, and third. And then instead of going all the way down, we're going to give medallions to the rest of the top eight. So really, they get the feeling of you're getting on that block, you're getting on an award platform. Only one, two, and three is getting up there, you know, and it's going to have a big medal and it's, it, it's going to be cool. Yeah. Um, Brian, do you know the, the answer to this question here, uh, how, what the qualifying standards are and what, what the age groups are and what the different distances are? Um, Doug, Doug might be better to uh, answer that question. He's the one that put together the qualifying standards with okay. Robert Pinter. Um, one of the things I wanted to add is when I came up with this, I was look, you know, Robert Pinter asked me, he goes, who do you think would be the best ambassador for this event? And I, there was not a question in my mind that Ryan Lochte was the, the mm-hmm. one that we want. I didn't know if we could get Ryan, but he was the one we want. He's the kid's Olympian. I mean, he's, he's, he's the one that relates best to kids and, and kids swimming. And we are so honored to have him and be a partner with Pan Am Aquatics mm-hmm. um, to bring this event full circle and, and present it to the world. So we're really excited to have Ryan as our ambassador and uh, Pan Am Aquatics as our partner. And 
Let's see what this thing brings. And if you guys need any information, you can always go to iagc.global. That's our website. And we're yep. also on social media at IAGC Swimming. Yep. Yeah, we put the link there in the bottom. It's in the chat as well. We'll make sure we uh, um, I think, put this out. Uh, I think registration start May 29th. Okay. So, so next Sunday. Yep, next Sunday. No, next so Monday. Start getting on that. Yeah. And our goal is to have – uh, Doug, Doug, you, say, Doug you, you can talk about the qualifying standards. Qualifying standards. And the heats and we're finals. Using, we're using quad A, quad A times – and then they get bonus swims for X number of each quad eight times that they make uh, so they can have a full set of, of swims, not just come to one or two events. Um, like I said, foreign kids, we're going to have a little bit different for them uh, so we can get more countries represented and see what's going on. We're using the FINA birthday, which is your birth year, which is different than USA swimming. And... Uh, um, we're going to have uh, uh, 10 and under, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 uh, age groups. And we'll wow. swim them combined, 10 and under, 11 and 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16 in prelims, and then break out the final heat at night by individual age groups. Nice. I love it. I love it. Oh, I was wondering, um, say like, my kids from my program in the UK, they fly over, they do it. Are they representing the club or are they representing oh, Great Britain? Represent like, are they going to be able to say they're, they're there for Britain in the results? Or Yeah, we're, just... that, that's a real good question. And that's what we talked about this past weekend was actually doing that. Like, wherever you're from the country, mm. you know, because mm. we, don't, we don't think yet that it's not a team, just like the Olympics, it's not a team championship event. You know, you, you score how many medals from different countries, but it, it's representing your country. So if you have a group that you want to bring over from Britain, you know, they would be Great Britain entries. Yeah. Yeah. Kids will love that. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah, I love it. Um, yeah. Ryan, I got one for you. You you know, you're always giving back to kids, mate. Why are you, why are you so generous with the way that you want to evolve swimming with, with swimming kids, man? With kids, man. You know, I think it's when I first started becoming an international swimmer. I was actually having a conversation with Phelps and we were talking. And it got to a point where it was like, what do we want to do in the sport? And I was like, we want to change the game. Mm -hmm. We want to make it bigger than what it is. The love and passion I have for this sport, I I want that to give to everyone else. I want when people go on the in their t living rooms turn on the TV and they see freaking swimming on ESPN. Like I want that. I want that so much because swimming is one of the most talked sports, but it's only a, during the Olympic team, but we mm. have so many other swim meets that go on yearly in the mm. U S mm. and all over the world. So like, why can't we put that in the people's living room? So, I mean, that is why I want to make swimming bigger. And that's why, you know, whether I hang up my swimsuit or not, I'm still going to be involved in the sport, no matter what, whether it's going, doing swim clinics, which I am, um, start doing, um, we created this, uh, 154 perfect. I am, uh, it's my world record, uh, that's still holding. It might not be for long. <laughs> um, but, uh, it's a 154 tour. Um, where it's going to be internationally, just going around doing swim clinics, um, teaching kids how to swim. Um, so I'll be doing that. But like, I think that's like, because I want to, I want to change the sport. I want to make it bigger than what it is. Um, and I'm a big kid. You guys know that. Well, mm -hmm. I'm a big kid. I can mm -hmm. relate to these kids. Um, mm -hmm. And I want them to understand, like, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not like out of this, like, like some alien or anything like that. Like I'm a regular person. Mm -hmm. I just busted my ass every day to get to where I'm at. Mm -hmm. And I had a dream when I was these little kids age and I want them to understand, like, if you have a dream, that's all you need. And you just have to know that it's going to take a lot of sacrifices and dedication, but the end result is amazing. And you can't beat that. And that's why um, I wanted. That's what I want to do for these kids. 
Awesome. I love it. So, so Doug, the uh, official name of the meet is what? The, Inter the International Age Group Championships. Beautiful. International Age Group Championships. Brian, anything else you wanted to add to yeah, the, the story? Yeah, the, one of the other things we want to do is we understand the parents and the officials. They put a lot of time and effort into coming to these meets and sitting in the stands for all those hours and the officials standing on the deck. We're, we're special for the parents and the officials also, top of the line um, rooms for the for the officials to get uh, food and, um, you know, interactive things for the parents too. This is going to be an all-inclusive interaction with everybody. Mm -hmm. um, up, up to that point, we're also going to be trying to do a uh, tour with Ryan to announce the meet locally, re actually regionally in the Midwest, the East, the West, then the Southwest, and uh, coordinate that with uh, swim clinics for him to announce the meet regionally and, and uh, interact with the kids regionally also. So it's, 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 uh, it, it's coming together and um, it's going to be, it's not, it's not just for the kids. It's, I mean, it's for everybody. We're, we're going to make this a fun event for everybody. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. Well, I appreciate um, you guys coming on as the meet gets closer. Um, you're welcome to come back here and, and talk about it more, promote it more. You know, we want to get as many kids as we can there. We want to get international, international kids from all over the world at this meet. Uh, Ryan, in terms of um, what they can expect from you at the meet, are you going to be kind of like dipping your toe in the water? Are you going to be a cheerleader? Like what's your interaction, you think? Um, I don't know about me swimming. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know about that part. But, um, you know, I want I want to I'm going to reach out to some of my um, former um, um swim members yep. um and see if i could get some guest appearances from mm, them mm. um but man i'll do whatever i mean if they want to see me do a 50 meter underwater mm. uh well it'd be 25 yard meter underwater yeah, um because yeah. i don't know if i could do a 50 meter underwater right now <laughs> um i mean if they want that i'll give it to them I mean, I'll yeah. do anything for the kids. Um, I'll definitely be signing autographs, taking pictures, um, announcing some. Like, I'll be all over the place. Um, awesome. Yeah. I love it. So. I love it. Um, Ryan, would you mind staying in the chat here? We've got a few questions that have come through. And um, Doug and Brian, if you Doug guys Brian, could you drop off, that'd be that'd be awesome. But um, we'll keep Ryan just for a sec. Is, Doug, did you want to say anything else before you jump? No, no. I'm, no, thank, thank you for promoting it. Yeah, well, listen, we'll Thanks promote it much. all the way. We, much, guys. we want to get thousands of kids there, so we'll help any way we can. This is yeah. awesome. Good stuff, guys. Congrats. Thank Ryan, you, you much, stay guys. with us. See you. All right, you got it. See ya. All right. We've got a couple of people in the chat I know that um, may have some questions. Now, Sonny, we've got Ryan Lochte here, one of the greatest of all time. Do you have a question for him? Do I have a question for Ryan? Question. Sure. Um <laughs> You put me on the spot here, haven't you? Um, well, I mean, no, you've had days he, to think about this. What Joel Finking does. He, he said, what's your fastest 50 long course underwater ever? So let's oh, do that. All right. Show. So it was in 2008 Olympics. We were in Singapore at our training camp right before the Olympics. Mm. And it was right after a swimmy. Um, we do this like called gold kicks where you go 75 all out as fast as you can kicking. Um and I only had one to do. And then afterwards, since my legs were already warmed up and everything, I was like, hey, let's uh, let's do this 50 underwater. So I did it from a push. I didn't have a race suit on or anything. And I went 21.8 from a push underwater. Um, <laughs> 21.8. Yes. Jason Lezak was actually um, right next to my head coach, uh, Greg Troy. And he watched it. He was like, what the hell did I just see? <laughs> Did you just say 21 so 8? I, I knew you were going to laugh, John. I knew the 21 8. We've, we've been watching all the 50 freestyles around the world this year, and the amount of guys who have gone 21 8 now is like, I think there's like 15 <laughs> guys who have gone 21 8 in 2023. And, um, wow. The fact you've done that underwater without a race suit as well. And did you uh, say without a race suit? I mean, from a, just from a push, not a starting block or anything, just from a push, 21 8. <sighs> That's dirty oh my gosh what what yeah. year was that do you remember oh wait it oh, was wait. oh wait it was right before it was like a week before we left for uh beijing oh, that, 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 that's a little confidence boost huh 
<laughs> yeah, it was a long time ago. <laughs> That's disgusting. Hey, I want you. I want to get your thoughts on two IAMers uh, who are kind of uh, on the tip of everyone's tongue right now in the swimming world. We've got uh, Michael Andrew. He swims his two hundred IAM a certain way. I wanted to get your just your thoughts on that, like in terms of how he swims it. Do you have any thoughts or advice for him? You know, I. Yeah, you got to do work, buddy. <laughs> um, I mean, there's when we were competing, I was like, you know what? There's one person in this swimming world that will break my world record, and I thought it would be Michael Andrew. Hmm. He has, he's wow. just, he is a sprinter. He's fast in every stroke. Hmm. Um, but you got to do the work. Like you have to do those things and practices that you don't want to do. Those like long swims, you have to have a background and his training regimen doesn't consist of that. So mm. that is why I'm hesitant. Um, but he was like, I still think he can um, mm -hmm. break that world record. Yeah. Yeah. He's getting down. But you got to do the work. You got to yeah, do the work. Mm -hmm. What about Leon Marchand? Uh, What's your thoughts sprinter. on this kid? Woo! Damn, <laughs> this kid's the real deal. He's um, doing the work, right, with Bob. Amazing. Um, I I just saw it on Instagram of his like 400 IM that he did in a dual meet, mm. and him doing like four or five dolphin kicks off every wall, even in the four IM, is very hard. Like, there's only a certain selection of people that could do this, and when I saw that, like, he's just so gifted i guess in every yeah. stroke his every stroke is so like connected and everything um that's why i said um earlier in the uh in the interview i was like yeah well that 154 might not last very long yeah. because i definitely can see him doing it if not this summer it's definitely going to be for the olympics yeah yeah that's common what about this one what's this one in the chat here it says memories from 2 a.m. 2011, one of the greatest races of all time. Where was that at? That was in Shanghai. Oh, uh, that was in Shanghai. Yeah, that was when I broke the world record. Oh, okay. um, that you, meat, that was whole the... meat, was my favorite meat. Really? Um, I mean, I was, I was just, I don't on know, fire. I was a different person. Then. I was a, I was on point in everything. Hmm. But I think one of my best races out of that meat was my 200 free, because it came out of nowhere. Um, how I set up each wall, like was just fantastic. Um, but the two I am, um, before going into that, uh, that race for finals, I knew I was going to win. Um, it was just the training that I've done the outside of the water training that I've done. I've just got so much stronger. My underwaters were phenomenal and I just knew I had it. Um, and then once I remember going, pushing off into the freestyle leg in the 2 a.m., I see Phelps, and I see Phelps pop up a little earlier than I did. I was like, oh, I got this so much. Yes. Um, and then I just shot up and head of him, and then it was it was a duel. It was a, it was a fight to the finish. Um, and then once I saw that I broke the world record, I was just like, first of all, I was, I was very happy, but then when I was getting out of the pool, I was kind of pissed. I was like <laughs> – my ass should have went under 154. What the heck was I thinking? I should have let up on the back to breast turn. I messed this up. So I was a little pissed. But um, I broke the world record, and it was like that whole meet was just – that was my meet. Yeah, yeah, you didn't lose anything, I don't think, that you swam, right? No. At that meet. No. You won both IMs, the two back. Two back, yeah. two free. Um, and then – and the relays i was just i was on point wow. there too so yeah mm -hmm. heck of a meet insane mm -hmm. yeah long time ago what what do you do like when you're, you're that that meets so far away right it's like on the other side of the world you get there really early to to kind of get ready were you there for a few days before oh yeah um we usually always do that to every international meet uh the u.s travels probably like a week well, in the Olympics, it's like almost like a week or two weeks before to get acclimated to the time zone and everything like that. Um, so that's definitely what we did for uh, world champs. Yeah. <clears throat> Sonny, you got any questions for him again now that I've oh, prepped you? I was just kind of looking through the comments and people just saying stuff like, 
him and Michael the only guys to go 154. And I, I'm pretty sure Leon was closer to the 4 a.m. world record than to, to Ryan's 2 a.m. world yes. record last mm. summer. Yeah, and that's, that's what, and that's why I think that's why I said, like, I think he's going to break the 4 a.m. world record this summer. Mm-hmm. And then the 2 a.m., I mean, he could break both this summer. Yep. Um, but I think um, his first one would probably be the 4 a.m. and then 2 a.m. Um, but yeah, it's so crazy. Like I have some people like still come up to me and being like, do you know that you guys were so far ahead of the field every time you swam the two IM than anyone else? Like still no one has been a one fifty four yet besides me and Phelps. Like that's just crazy. And that was way back when that is crazy. So, I mean, it just goes to show like how much hard work, like I wasn't the most talented at all but i did outwork anyone i was able to outwork anyone and that's what was my gift like i had no i had no no like there was no no in my program like it was yes yes i will yes i can um and that was the mentality that me and phelps had and we pushed each other so much and it was so awesome our rivalry that we had it i was i'm so blessed that i was in his era um, well, I got to tell you, Ryan, when you had when when the U.S. had the one-two punch of of Lockie and Phelps, I mean, you put the fear of God into every other team on the planet. On the planet. We, we're going into we're Paris going into next Paris. year, and I don't see a Lochte on the team right now. I don't see a Phelps on the team right now. Now, that's that's not to take away from Dressel. Dressel is the man when he's on, but you know he's obviously gone through some struggles, and we're not exactly yes. sure where he is. Do you? Do you have any update on that part of it in terms of where Dressel's at? Um, so like, I reach out to him and be like, "Hey, bud, like, cause he's like my little brother." Um, uh, they when I was swimming with them, they called me Big Daddy. Um, uh, <laughs> so they were like my little kids. Um, uh, so I reach out to him just to make sure he's all right. He said he's in his the best mind space, mind spot that he's ever mm-hmm. been in. But like mm-hmm. that time that he took off after world championships, he, he got back in the water. I was like, Ooh, I bet you felt like crap getting mm-hmm. back in the water. He's like, honestly, <laughs> I've never felt the best I've ever felt. I was like, mm-hmm. wait, what? Wow. Only you can say that he is probably the one of the most gifted, talented swimmers that I've ever met. Mm-hmm. He's just a free, an athlete. Um, mm-hmm. It's just amazing to see what he could do. And, but like, you're right. It's that that killer instinct, um, and I don't see it as much uh, in these swimmers now. Um, but I mean, when when the time comes, uh, U.S. shows up. Yeah, yeah, that's true. The U.S. shows up and wins every single meet, so it's easy to throw stones now. But uh, yeah, it's just when you had the. Well, you're right. You had- you're right. There's not like that um, afraid like. Other countries were afraid when they saw us. Yeah, damn. They're yeah. like, oh shit. They're like, shit. Mm-hmm. I'll, well, I'll swim for, I'll mm-hmm. swim for second or third. Mm-hmm. Like they don't have, we don't have that anymore. Uh, we don't have that killer instinct. But mm-hmm. plus, yeah. thing we're we'll get both of y'all were swimming all the relays too. Is like even more so. It wasn't just like you were swimming the four hundred IM and winning that. You were swimming yeah. on all the relays, both of you guys. So yeah, it was. And I'd swim backstroke. He would swim butterfly. So mm-hmm. like we had it all. Um, mm-hmm. It's it's just man. I wish I could go back to those days where we were just battling left mm-hmm. and right against each other. There was there was like so much fun. Um, I mean, even though I swim against Phelps and I lost a lot behind him, <laughs> um, sure, I had a blast doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, you won some too, you know, like that's a thing. Not, did, not many people I could say they won some too. against Phelps. Yeah. I did. I did. I did win some. Yeah. Um, yes, I still have the world record. Um, and a lot of people say like, man, if Phelps wasn't here, um, you'd be the Michael Phelps. I was like, maybe or maybe not. Because mm-hmm. one thing I do know is that me and him, we pushed each other. He was like, mm-hmm. he'll say it. He'll be like the hardest person he's ever had to go up against was me. And the hardest person I've ever had to go up against was him because we never backed down. We took no for an answer. And it was a dog fight no matter what the event mm. was. It was a dog fight till the end. Um, yeah. One of the hardest competitors I ever had to go up against. And I'm so blessed that I did. Yeah. Best. I agree. I agree. 
it's, it's, I, I find it interesting you saying about that, like you loved racing, win or lose. And I, I feel like we've got so many great guys in the world right now that can go head to head. But there's a lot of people, you know, Adam Pete's taking a step back this year. Caleb's had some time off. What, do you reckon that's like, do you find a difference with the social media and, and all the sort of spotlight being on a bit more? Or do you reckon it's just a different mentality now or just different people? Man, all I got to say is screw social media, man. You mm. can't think you can't get let that stuff get in your head. Mm. So that's one thing I was so good about was all the naysayers, all the, like the comments like of people being like, oh, you're going against Phelps. You're going to lose, blah, blah, blah. Like it went through one ear out the other. I was mm. like, you know what? I'm just going <laughs> to prove everyone wrong. Mm. Um, And now in society, it's just it's changed. A lot has changed. Um, But one of the most things the important things and I could see where like Caleb's coming thrown from like mental health. Like that's a very big thing. Um, mm. and you can't take that like kindly, like you have to, when you see it and it happens to you, you have to attack it, mm -hmm. um, and fix it because that could ruin you. Um, I'm glad he took that time off and I'm glad he's like, his mindset is such in a better state now. So do you get the um, feeling he'll race at, uh, at, do you think he'll race um, Worlds this year or he'll wait to the Olympics? What's your opinion? Who, him? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I can call him after this interview and ask him and get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I like um, but I don't know. Um, I, I just I just know that he'll be ready. You know, even if he goes to World Championships uh, this summer or not, I know he'll be ready for next year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've sure. been saying that too. Yeah. I've been saying that too. Um. Sonny, there was some fast swimming on the weekend. Do we want to touch on anything real quick? Yeah, I mean, I, I love the man Austin. Did you ever do man Austin, Ryan? Me and Brett loved that, mate. Um, um, no, I didn't. I was actually gonna go to it, but then I think I got sick or something. And I went home, um, for something like that. But I, yeah, I missed it. Mm. Oh, it's, it's, it's awesome. I, I, mean, I, I saw, I saw sometimes. I was like, yeah. hey, hey, these yeah. swimmers got them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. It's seeing. It's I love seeing the swimming world evolve. Yeah. Are, are you are you watching all the results then all around the world like all the time? Then you're 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 prop. No, you're not. No. 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 <laughs> I see whatever pops up in my Instagram. <laughs> if I'm strolling through Instagram, if I see something pop up, I'm like, oh, cool, and I'll move on. I don't know. I don't look swimming up or anything like that this is a good question here actually for you who's your favorite international competitor not phelps so someone from another country that's good right. question hmm that is a good question um man there's so many um who would be my favorite you know probably laszlo J. like oh, yeah. he was always because i mean mm. Coming He's from an I am, he was always mm. there. He was mm. like a little gnat. He was always <laughs> just right there. Um, and mm. he was he was a hard competitor. Um, yeah. Tiago, uh, Tiago Pereira. Tiago. He yeah. was always yeah. like, "I'm gonna go out, and you better freaking try to catch me." Mm. Um, yeah, he so was the Michael Andrew. Yeah, like, before Michael Andrew. Like, like yeah. why do you gotta go out so damn fast? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. Um, it was fun. It was so much fun. Yeah, those two were good for sure. Um, what about what's your thoughts on like Sarah Sostrom? She's Sarah still swimming Sostrom. fast, man. She was swimming, you know, back when you were swimming, and now she's still like, on the I weekend. She her, went oh, crazy. Yeah, in the fifty fly and fifty free, I saw it. Yeah. On, it popped up on Instagram. I was like, "Damn, yeah. she's yeah. got it." Yeah, that, yeah. Twenty three in the you know fifty. What? That's freaking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, she's killing it. That's so awesome. Yeah, and she was racing Kate Campbell on the weekend as well. Kate's 31 now, and she's making a bit of a comeback. She swam fast, 24-3 um, in the 50 freestyle, which is pretty solid. Yeah. Oh, is this gonna, it? There you go, Kate watch, and Sarah. Let's, let's watch it. It's from record. Dude, that's so crazy. She's still in it, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Know. And something ridiculous. For the old people. Do it for the old people. That's it. <laughs> she's actually not that old. I said that once, and she's not that old. Actually, she's just been doing it since Is she it? was so young. She's just, that's true. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> she's like thirty years old. I think yeah, she went to her first Olympics at fifteen. She's younger than Kate. 
in in 09 when she set the world record, mm-hmm. she was like 16. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's just crushing people. Good That's awesome. Good, good. Ryan, what do you think the the where are we going with swimming in terms of how long you can swim for? What do you think the age is these days? You know, it used to be so young. Now it's kind of expanding out to the 30s. So, so like the, the main age was a younger age. I think now, um, I think it's getting a little older. Um, so like the, usually it was like, oh, you're going to peak at like, like you're swimming ends probably around like 25 26 Mm. now it's getting up to the 30s Mm. um and i only think it's going to get higher because i think more and more swimmers are finding ways to get better at a later age Mm. um they're finding new techniques uh new training methods Mm -hmm. so um i think it i think it's only going to expand into i mean you still have these young swimmers that are phenoms coming out of nowhere um, which is good, but the longevity of the sport, I think it's going to keep um, rising. Yeah. What about this? I got one for you. Do you know? Do you know who Carson Foster is? Yep. Yeah, he's doing some good stuff. He just one fifty six five yeah, yeah. over the weekend. Yeah, one fifty six on the weekend, two hundred IM. That's pretty solid. Dang. One fifty six five. These guys yeah. are doing this in season. Woo. Mm. Yeah. Man, I was nowhere to be found in season. In season, <laughs> I was like. At least five or six seconds away from my best time. And then, well, well, Troy would never let you put on a suit place. anyway, would he? Oh no, no. I had a, we had a have banana Tracks hammocks too. all day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> what was the theory behind that, Ryan? Tell us when you know when when you guys rolled up. It was always like you knew Ryan Lochte was not going to put on a racing suit, and you kind of knew it was coming from Greg Troy. So, but what's he telling you? Like you, you're saying, hey, Greg, give me a chance here, right? See you, right. No, he said the swimmer doesn't make the suit. This um, the swimmer makes the suit. The mm. suit doesn't make the swimmer. Right, right. So he's like, I want you to go up there and just have big cojones. Mm. And he's mm. like, he's like, now if you go up on those blocks with no suit and you're able to be up with them or even beat them, mm. just know how much more confidence you're going to have at the end of the season when you put on a suit and you're crisp, you're ready. Mm. You're going to mess up everyone. You're going to be very dangerous. And I, I really took that to heart. I was like, you know what? I got to give it all I can. And it makes you even try even harder in season. Mm. Mm. Um, and then at the end of the season, I was like, oh, I got my suit on now, boys. <laughs> Let's go. Now they're suiting up in yeah. dual meets, like in college and stuff. You know, it's like a complete oh, yeah. opposite of what it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In dual meets in college, like – you couldn't no. there's no way in hell you could have a suit on i'm surprised they yeah. let us wear a swim cap yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly uh that's bruno bruno's right he's in the chat he's saying good old school coaching that's right, that's right. yeah <laughs> bruno, there's, there's a lot of questions in here uh what's your favorite uh, dinosaur, your favorite dinosaur? <laughs> uh the raptor of course <laughs> <laughs> i should i should know all of them because my son he goes like man the tyrannosaurus rex the site i was like how do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> it should be just a gator a gator's a dinosaur isn't it yeah, pretty well, much uh, more or less yeah there you go millions of years old um what is this one here this one says lochte who are your top three greatest of all times are we talking swimming here who's your top three um, swimming or non-sports non-sports michael jordan of course okay tiger woods okay uh you know tom brady yeah serena williams brady. Mm-hmm. yep that's some, uh, some freaks for swimming yeah yeah i mean all i really got is <laughs> actually michael phelps ian thorpe dara torres good, good ones yes. yeah just like beasts, just beasts mm. that mm. like, I mean, what, hey, what did Dara Torres win? She got what silver at the, in 08 and she was what? 41 or 44. Yeah. 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 That, I remember Come on. that. Come stud. on. It's yeah, incredible. Stud. She's a stud. You're right. That's a good one. I'm glad you put her in there. That's a good pick. Yeah. Yeah. Very so, good. A lot, a lot of people are asking about the 200 backstroke and, uh, 
I, I was going to say earlier when you actually asked me about a question, I was going to say, Ryan, you always pick the 200 back and the 2 am at the Olympics. You've kind of done them both. And just, I, I know you yeah. said you didn't say no, but do you look back at them races and think if you'd just done one, you could have been quicker at one or another? Or, you know, oh, I mean, yeah. 151 is absurd oh. as well, right? By by all means, if I just did one event, I could I could have won the two IM or I could have won the two back, but I didn't want that. Mm -hmm. I wanted a challenge, and that's why I did swimming, and that's why I chose doing IM, is because you can't like anyone can train for one stroke and be the best at that one stroke, but how many people have the ability to train for every stroke and be good at every stroke? That to me is a swimmer, an all-around swimmer. And that's what I wanted to be. I didn't want to be a backstroker or a freestyler. I wanted to be an all-around swimmer. So I had to train for multiple things. And I never got bored in practice. Like mm. one day I'd be training breaststroke. The next day I'd have to train backstroke. So like I was never bored and I always loved that. Did it, did it honestly suck though that you couldn't call yourself the fastest swimmer on the planet because you never swam the 50 freestyle all out? <laughs> Did that hurt you? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'll just be like, I'll just be the fastest all around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You Ever. definitely were. Still, you today. definitely were that. But no, yeah. no. Hey, trust me. There's so many times in college, especially that I was like, man, I really wish I was a freaking sprinter. <laughs> yeah. They did half my practice. They're out. They're enjoying their time out of the pool. And I'm still training. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, there's no doubt about that. But uh, to go back to that, like the world <laughs> record of, man, I was in I was in Phelps's heat when he did that 151. It was in Rome, wasn't it? Uh, Aaron, yeah, Pearsall, Pearsall. 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 yeah. And yeah, I remember yeah. it going into the last 50. I looked and I was like kind of next to him, like I could see him. And then all of a sudden, I touched the wall and he beat me by like three seconds. In the last 50, I was like. <laughs> Okay. Wow. That just happened. Someone, <laughs> someone came to swim today. <laughs> and, and nobody's uh, nobody's been yeah, close dude, to that, that one either. No one, no one's gotten close to that. No. Within what's the a couple seconds? I think Reloff was yeah. like two seconds off last year. Yeah. Other, other than Ryan going one fifty two, like no one's gone one fifty quicker than one fifty three since twenty eleven. No. But if I if I was going to compare anyone to you, Ryan, I'd probably say Pearsall was very similar to you in his approach. Like you guys were just chill. Oh, so I got I got it from him actually. Ah. Uh, when we first started racing against each other, I was like, dude, like, did you just smoke a bowl or something? Like, why are you so chill? Like, why why are you just like, hey, yeah, what's up, man? I want to hit some waves. You want to go surfing? Like, I'm like, why are you like this? <laughs> and he was like, and he put it to me in this. He was like, all right, you have practice. You train every day. Hmm. You train for the events that you want to swim at the end of the year. So you're doing like a backstroker. You're doing that event so many times in practice on a daily basis that it should become natural. Like you shouldn't have to think about, oh, I got to hit this turn or I got to make sure I do five kicks off this wall because you've done it so many times in practice. It should become, it should just come like breathing, like natural. And that way he was like, that's why, you know what? I've done the work. I've already done this event so many times in practice that all I got to do is it. just be me. And yeah. I was like, shit, I like this. <laughs> you know what? I like this a lot. So then I really took to it and I was like, that's why I'm like, I go up, I'm like, hey, what's up, man? How you guys doing? But <laughs> as soon as that starter says swimmer step up or step mm -hmm. in, a switch hits me. Like, mm -hmm. I'm no longer that laid back, right? I'm a competitor. Mm -hmm. I'm a racer. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to bleed to beat me. Right. But then yeah. as soon as I touch that wall, win or lose, I'm like, hey, next race. <laughs> That's good advice for a lot of people. Awesome. Next race. This is a great comparison here. He, uh, Oliver's comparing you to Rob Gronkowski. I think it's a really good comparison. Yes, I mean, hey, I'll take that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah. I mean, like he—he's the type of—he's the—he's the athlete that he enjoys it. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. think it's a job. He's going out there to do what he loves. Yeah. Play football, and he has fun doing it, and I think that's. And I think that's what um, some of these kid, younger kids need to learn. And that's why we created that swim meet. These kids have to understand, like, this is not your life. 
Swimming is not life. Mm -hmm. It is a sport that you love to do. That's it. That's There's it. so much more, especially I learned this when I ha um, had my kid um, mm -hmm. and had a family of my own is like mm -hmm. swimming, swimming. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't swimming does not evolve. Like it's not who I am. Yeah. It's just a sport that I love to do. And I was, I was okay at it, but there's so much more to life than swimming. Oh, listen. Hey, oh, I agree. Right. I agree with that. Agree. Someone talked about your green shoes the other day. Do you still have that green shoe? Unfortunately, no, oh. I wish I did. Um, it was one of the things I created. Um, and dude, they were badass. Yeah, someone That's said they love say. this green um, shoe. <laughs> so, so I teamed with um Riddick. It's an Italian, a high end Italian shoe company, and I'm designing my own shoes um now. Hmm. Um, and one shoe and one sandal are already out there, so you can go to um RiddickShoes.com hmm. and get yours. They're very high end Italian leather. Um. But yes, um, more on that design of the green shoe. I am going to be making another one, a high top one, more on kind of my flavor. So you'll you guys will be able to see that coming soon. I love it. There's the link, riddickshoes.com. You can click on now, get get some shoes now. But the, the new ones are coming out. Is is the new one gonna be a Riddick shoe as well? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So um with my contract with uh Riddick on um, they're going to allow me to come out with five um, pairs of shoes. Wow. Um, and I really want to come out with a kid's line. Cool. Wow. Awesome. I love it. This has been awesome, man. Uh, we really appreciate this. You're welcome back anytime. You're fun as hell. I love this. Uh, yeah, but, thank you, man. I appreciate but it. We want, to get, we want to get the word out on this meet. We want this swim meet to be huge. If there's anything, I mean, you're, you're connected. But if there's anything I can do in terms of connections to get guys there to the meet, I know Bruno Fratis is in this chat. Bruno would love to be at the meet, sign an autograph for kids. Oh my like, god, we'll get, yeah! So we'll like, get everybody so there. We really everybody want there. to make this. Oh well, it already is because no one's ever even thought about doing this. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely going to be one of a kind. But like you know, me like I want to make this fun as yeah. well as a big competition. So like yeah. we're trying. I'm trying to reach out to like my country singer friends that I know to come and like perform wow. like things like that. Like I want to make this big, like kids breaking a record, boom, fireworks galore. Like <laughs> some like, damn, like this meets crazy. This is awesome. So like, I want to make it huge. Um, yep. And that's what we're going to do. And I, like I said, I want, <laughs> bro, I, I saw Bruno, Bruno said, Bruno's call me anytime. I got you, buddy. I got you. Yeah, there we go. But like, yeah, we want, like, I want, I want like some of like the other Olympians to come mm -hmm. because it's not a just for me. It's yeah. for the kids. Yeah. Um, and that's the reason why I'm doing this. I'm not doing this for me to make money. I'm doing this yeah. because I want to help the sport and I want to help these little kids. Yeah. I want to help the next generation because that's what it's all about. It's not about me. It's about the next generation. You've always done that, man. That's what I love about you. So, uh, yeah, we'll we'll help any way we can. Sonny's got his own yes, channel. Yes, we'll, we'll, he, he's over in Britain. He'll pump it out. We'll try and get everybody there, man. We'll make this. Thing oh yeah, push this. Big. And hey, I better see you guys there. Yeah, no, yeah. I'll be there for sure. Oh, it's I mean, so far. I mean, hey, we'll do we'll do an old guy race where we all do a fifty. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay so much to see you and Brett race. I'll put it on the yeah. old jacket again. <laughs> I, I, I love yes, it. we'll go full body. We'll go full body. Yeah, yeah full bodies. Yeah. <laughs> cover some awesome. of this up ryan Dude. um Thank all right man so appreciate it thanks buddy you're a legend yes yes Cheers. keep pushing the swimming guys yeah <laughs> all, all day long thanks guys take care all See right. ya.